Hello everyone. Welcome to Maths Mantra channel. Today, let us discuss regarding 10th ICSC board exam time utilization technique. I hope this video will be very useful for the children those who are preparing for the 10th ICSC examination. If you see the examination pattern, we will be having first section A and later section B. So section A will be consisting of question number 1, 2 and so on till 4. Question number 5 onwards will be section B that is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Total 7 questions. To attempt all these questions, time duration is given of 2 hours 30 minutes. So this 2 hours 30 minutes is writing time. After giving the question paper immediately, 15 minutes time will be given for reading of the question paper. This 2 hours 30 minutes will be writing the question paper answers. 15 minutes will be a reading of the question paper. So this 15 minutes time is very, very important for us. Usually everyone will start reading the questions from question number A, question number 2, question number 3, question number 4 and so on. But my suggestion is first you start with section B, question number 5 onwards. You read the questions because 7 questions you have to read, analyze it understand it and first select which one you are going to write whether question number 5 or 6 or 8 or 10, 11 whatever the questions you are going to select first to identify it. Later you come to section A because section A questions are compulsory whether you select if you don't select also there is never mind each and everything you have to write. So section B questions those who will finalize the section B questions really they success they get the success in the examination. So this is the first part. Second, this two hours 30 minutes to write the time, uh, write the examination. If you see the exam pattern in the section A, question number one, A, B, C, sub questions, a, B, C, sub question in question 2, like this, each and every question will be having the same. But in section B, any one question which is having the median based question or the quartiles based question from the statistics, that question may have only sub questions A and B. One will be consisting of 6 marks, another will be consisting of 4 marks. Except that question, rest of all will be having the same pattern what I have given now here. So, the pattern will be in this way, the question number 1 may be for 3 marks, 3 marks, 4 marks, so it can be 4, 3, 3 also, total it will be consisting of 10, rest of other also will be having the same process. So, total 40 marks in section A, 40 marks in section B, total 80 marks, you have to write it. But, to write, how much time we require, then how many questions we have to write, let us have a view. So in section number A, it is visible to you, total 12 questions. How we can write 12 questions? Because 4 questions only we have to attempt, but each has 3 sub-questions, so 4 into 3, 12. Section B also the same, total 12, but total number of questions to be written, 24. But how much time we have? I said no, 2 hours, 30 minutes, if you convert to minutes, 150 minutes we get. This 150 minutes, if you divide with 24, we get 6 minutes, 25 seconds. But one thing we have to remember, if each and everything, if we utilize only for writing, there will be no time for us to recheck. So as per my view, as per my suggestion, each question, if you spend it for only 5 minutes, or 5.5 minutes usually. If you take for 5 minutes, we'll have the correct idea. 24 questions, 5 minutes if you use, 120 minutes we'll get. 
120 minutes means 2 hours. Within 2 hours, we will complete the paper. Then what to do with remaining the 30 minutes? These 30 minutes, you have to use it for a rechecking of your answers. What the answers you have written, you have to recheck it. Because many times, whenever we write something, there will be miscoordination between our hand to our brain. Our mind says something, our hand writes something. So, due to the miscoordination, we will be doing some mistakes like an addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or any sort of the simplification parts. Minute mistakes sometimes will occur due to that the entire problem goes wrong. So, this particular rechecking you have to do in this 30 minutes. So, 30 minutes if you see, 24 questions are there to check, 24 into 1 minute if you take for each and every question, 24 minutes will complete. Still, 6 minutes remains for us. The 6 minutes, you can again recheck from the starting, tie, see the graph papers correctly tied or not, check the graph paper is having the numbers correctly. You have mentioned the index numbers, unique ID numbers and written the question numbers properly or not and tie the papers with the thread. So, these all things you can do within the last 60 minutes and get relaxed. This is one view but there are some particular children who completes within 2 hours everything. In case if you complete early, if you get 5 minutes for each question I said. So, three questions you have to attempt if you select any of the another extra. So, 15 minutes plus again for rechecking three. So, 18 minutes. If you get more than 18 minutes time after rechecking also, if you get 18 minutes more, still 18 minutes if you are having, then only you go for the attempting of extra questions. Some people simply they will be going for writing of the extra questions which we be burden for them. Without checking the questions, without rechecking the questions what they have written correct or wrong, if you go with the extra questions and that will be spending of nearly 18 minutes, it is waste. So, according to my view, those who want to write the examination, try to complete each and every question from 5 minutes to 5.5 5 minutes so that your exams completes within the time and you will get even time for rechecking also. 5.5 5 minutes to 5 minutes you use it. More than that if you are using for any of the question means you will be not getting the extra time. So, there are some particular questions uh, will complete soon. If you complete within 3 minutes, if, if you complete within 4 minutes, it's good, well and good. But always keep in the mind, more than 5 to 6 minutes you are taking means you will be not getting time for the rest of other questions and even for the rechecking. I hope you understood now. So, use these techniques. Try to analyze the question paper in the starting itself. Select the questions correctly. Once if you select the questions in the section B, that should not be again changed. So, try to attempt questions which are asked like section A4 and section B also 4. As per my view, don't go for the extra questions, attempting of extra questions which will be a waste of time. Instead of that, whichever we know correctly if you write and use the rechecking techniques also to complete the entire paper within the time. I hope this video will be useful to you. If you like this, Please give your comments, subscribe and share. Thank you.